Hi, welcome to Daddy Curb's farm. We installed our bees a little over a week ago, and we've only checked on them one time since, and that was to make sure that the queens were out of the cage. On one of them, the queen was out of the cage. On this, on this one here, it wasn't out of the cage, so after a few days, actually we checked on them twice, because the next time we came out, we actually had to release her. We just pulled the screen back and uh, let her go down into the hive because she wasn't getting out on her own. So today we're going to see if we see any evidence of the queen laying. I'm going to check the outside frames first. Just, I don't expect the queen will be there, but I just want to see what's going on. Which is just a collection of pollen nectar so they are building stores that's great that's good to see okay just more stores very good to see definitely no queen on those outside frames so I'm just gonna go frame at a time toward the inside toward the middle I mean okay that first hive we looked at I, I fear has no queen uh, this hive has a little more activity and uh, it had a lot more activity last time I was out here which is why I put this second box on here since then I've learned that it may not have been a good idea to put a shallow box on here already but I did I didn't know exactly what I was doing it doesn't look like there's much going on up here in this second box in the shallow box so we're gonna look for queen activity this hive has a lot more bees so I'm going to guess that the queen, there's a better chance that we have a queen. I don't even think I need smoke. These bees aren't doing anything. So I'm going to pull a second frame number two out. take a look at it over the hive which there's there's not much going on on this frame so I think it's safe to go ahead and set it to the side and that gives me room in here to scoot these around a little bit I got the sun to my back so I can easily see into these cells. There's a lot of uh, pollen and uh, nectar stores. The comb's being built up nicely. Even the old comb from last year is being repaired nicely. Four frames in, no evidence of any brood. feel a lot better if I saw a little brood even just seeing the queen I'm not feeling very confident right now okay I was just feeling a little discouraged uh, I went back into the first one the one that didn't have very many bees pull this up and let me show you what I found. Where's my finger? There. See the queen with the dot on her back? We do have a queen. So this hive, at least, is, uh, I don't know that it's safe, but she is there. And 
we held it up into the sunlight better. Let's see if we can come over here. I don't know if you can see it, but down in the base of these, there are eggs. So she is laying. So hive one, what we are calling hive one, is an active hive. It doesn't have a lot of bees right now, which is concerning, but we do have a queen and we do have eggs. So that's good news. So here's the situation. I have two hives. One of them with very few bees, but definitely a laying queen. I saw her and her eggs. The second hive has a lot of bees and a lot of nectar, but no visible indication that there is a queen. There may be, but I don't see her or I don't see the eggs. So I called a friend of mine who is a beekeeper, and his suggestion was that possibly the strong hive that has a lot of bees has so much nectar that they filled up the frame so much that the queen, if she's in there, has no place to lay. So they call that nectar bound. If that's the case, it would be beneficial for me to take one of the nectar bound frames and brush the bees off and put that into the weaker hive so that the weaker hive, where there are fewer workers, will have a lot more food and the stronger hive with a lot of bees will have more empty comb. And that empty comb hopefully would be a, um, a place where the queen would recognize that this is where she needs to go lay. So I don't know if that's exactly what's happening, but that's what I did tonight was I switched one frame from each into the other. We'll check it again in another couple days to see where they're at, see what's going on, and hopefully we've done the right thing tonight. So thanks for hanging out with me here at the Daddy Curbs Farm. I hope you're enjoying the beekeeping videos. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Go ahead and subscribe. That way you'll get updates when I have a new video out and you can see what's going on on the Daddy Kirk's farm. So thanks again. I'll talk to you soon.